Well, look what's just arrived. It's the HTC Arrive for Sprint, and this is Sprint's first Windows Phone 7 device. It joins the CDMA and EVDO networks, and this phone is a QWERTY slider, but it differs a bit from a phone like the LG Quantum. It actually angles up to provide a better viewing angle while you're typing. Now the Arrive is the follow-up to the Touch Pro 2, and we feel as though it might be too little too late for this phone. This is definitely a niche phone, and by that we mean Windows Phone 7 OS is a bit of an acquired taste. You really have to be a Microsoft junkie and need to be willing to sacrifice your internet browsing experience and a wealth of applications. We like the HTC Arrive's keyboard, however, the keys are very flat, so it takes a little acclimating to uh, get used to that. Whereas a phone like the Motorola Click 2 has raised ergonomic buttons that are a bit easier to type with. Stylistically, we're big fans of the Arrive. We love this brushed metal backing here. And uh, in back, you'll also notice the 5 megapixel camera with single LED flash. First and foremost, this camera is capable of shooting 720p HD video. However, the quality is exceedingly subpar. It's one of the worst cameras we've seen on a smartphone. Um, images are just over sharpened and hazy and uh, just not, not pleasant on the eyes. Uh, 720p video is no different. It just looks like poorly interpolated 640 by 480 VGA quality. However, on the plus side, this phone handles calls very well. Uh, voice quality is one of the best we've experienced on a smartphone, and this phone's battery life is good. It has a 1500 mAh battery, and it lasted on standby for a few days, and that was with um, some heavy gaming, internet browsing, and Windows Phone 7 OS delights. So when it comes to messaging with this phone and making calls, this phone is dynamite. But here's another minus, and that's the fact that the HTC Arrive, like any other Windows Phone 7 device, has 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but no external storage. So if you're really heavy on your multimedia, forget about it. A little bit on the hardware, this phone has a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. It has 448 megabytes of RAM. The 3.6 inch WVGA screen has 16 million colors. It's a very decent uh, display. So now I'm going to take you through the Windows Phone 7 experience and show you all about hubs. Here is the Windows Phone 7 experience. Two home screens, all of your hubs, and a list which constitutes a main menu here. Let's go back to the hubs. We will start with people. And this basically takes all of the accounts you have signed into Facebook and uh, combines all of the contacts together. Here is a live update feed of statuses. And basically all of your contact information is compiled into one. Now Hotmail always gets its own hub. And um, as you can see, you can begin to see it's a uniform experience here. All of the hubs kind of look the same. The Xbox Live Store, and this is nifty because we can make our own avatar here. We get over there, so that's me. So here's our gaming experience. And it's not bad, the phone handles graphics very well. So then we go right over to pictures, and all of the pictures are integrated as well. All the pictures that you've taken, all of the status updates from your contacts that have to do with pictures, and even your personal Facebook pictures. Music and videos is segregated into its own hub here. And uh, we can search the Zoom store for new music, videos, podcasts, and YouTube. Anytime we open a YouTube video, it is um, opened right in this hub too, so everything is clustered together. For productivity, let's jump over to Office. And that's one of the benefits of having Windows Phone 7 phone. So you get OneNote, you get Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, you also get SharePoint. And here's the internet browser. Now when we talk about limited, no flash support whatsoever. And um, it's very difficult to copy and paste. It's just a pain. All right, let's zoom in there. All right, it took a while. It's just not as sensitive. Okay. So just um, a few gripes, but overall it's just a very basic 
internet experience. Really not a lot of options at all. So this has been the HTC Arrive in a nutshell. For the entire review, be sure to go to infosyncworld.com for further analysis. But for now, we'll leave you with our InfoSync diagnosis, the HTC Arrive. Calling, messaging, productivity, and organization are four factors that really excel on this phone. However, you're going to get a limited Internet Explorer experience until we get Internet Explorer 9 down the road. The marketplace just can't compete with the Android market or the iTunes store. And the Windows Phone 7 interface is definitely a beautiful thing, but it's also a love or hate phenomenon. Also, the Arrive has some heavy competition even internally with the HTC Evo Shift 4G and Epic 4G by Samsung. Therefore, we really only see this phone in the hands of die-hard Microsoft fans. This has been the HTC Arrive for Sprint. Until next time, I'm Mike Perlman for InfoSync World.